What's going on, Charles Botenston? So we are on the roof of my office, and I was actually just thinking about it today. I just came back from, as you guys already know, because I already ranted about it, uh, for 45 minutes holding an iPhone. You're welcome. Just kidding, but not really. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, say, fear. And actually, more, more importantly is that we're going to be talking about fear and addiction because they're really, really similar. So in other words, there is a fear of whatever, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of, fear of approaching a pretty girl, fear, fear of making sales calls, of anything. There's, there's tons of fears. And if I really want to dial it down, there's one thing that everything has in common, which is one thing, and that is that we feel that we are not going to be able to handle whatever happens. So in other words, I approach a pretty girl, she says no, we're not going to be, I'm not going to be able to handle what happens. Or I make a sales call, they hang up or they make fun of me or they say whatever. I'm not going to be able to handle what happens. That's a, that's a core thing that, that, that every fear comes down to. Fear of success is I'm not going to be able to handle the success. Fear of failure, I'm not going to be able to handle the, the, the fear of failing or the actual failure. So it's the same thing with addiction. Addiction is really the anticipation of a reward. So in other words, addiction towards alcohol, to, to escapism on your cell phone, to email. It's the anticipation of opening your phone, checking your email, and having new email. It's the anticipation of social media. So it's really not actually you making the call. It's not you actually seeing the email. It's the anticipation, which is a massive distinction, is that everyone always says, you know, that's been very successful is that they use fear and they, and, and if they don't actually feel fear, it's kind of weird to them. So if the, with the anticipation of going on stage, an actor will say, okay, I feel fear and I do it anyway. Highly recommend that book by Dr. Susan Jeffers. And she talks about that is that there is an actor, I forgot his name. And he talks about how if he didn't throw up before going on stage, and it was a Broadway show, and he's well known, if, you, if I said his name, you'd know who he is. And if he didn't throw up, then he wouldn't be performing well. So in other words, he's on when he's nervous. Most people say, I'm nervous, which is, you know, I've been saying it for a while, like feelings. You know, I'm, I'm, this is the, the year that I'm getting in touch, not in touch with my feelings. That's, that's a weird way to say it. but. In touch with, okay, I feel this way, what does it mean? I feel shameful or embarrassed or rejected or whatever the case is, what made me, what, what caused that feeling, okay? And it's funny too because you could be in different countries. So feelings are really learned. And there's a book out there and I'm actually, I just ordered it, I forgot the name of it, but it's, it's one of the most important books that you, you can read and I'll continue back on the, the subject of this, of fear and addiction. So, and I wrote down in my notes, it's not the act that you're addicted to. It's not the act of putting alcohol into your system or seeing the phone or the new email or the new like or the new comment, it's the anticipation of it. So understand what that is what you're addicted to, the, what, what, what feeling do you get when you open your phone and you see a new like, a new comment, a new email, a new text, a new call, whatever the case is, or what is the feeling you get right before doing something that you're fearful? Is it public speaking? Is it approaching that pretty girl? Is it trying out for the baseball team? Whatever the case is, you have to understand that to be able to actually move forward, okay? Because we think it's the actual act of doing it we're not addicted to that and we're not fearful of the actual act. It's the anticipation of it, all right? So remove yourself from the fear, from the addiction, go backwards, reverse engineer, what, am, what, what feeling am I chasing if it's an addiction? What, is it escapism? Is it comfort? Is it security? Or if you're actually fearful of something, what is the, what is the exact fearful situation and feelings that you fear? So. That's Charles Botenstead. Subscribe to the videos on YouTube. Well, I think we just pushed 2,600 people, which is fantastic. Thank you guys so much. And obviously some people said, you should have more people. I agree. However, in two weeks, we're actually gonna be going live. I know I've been saying that for a while. We just needed to get a camera that actually went live. I have a 70D and that's just not that good. So subscribe to the video. Talk to you guys soon.